Have you ever just wanted to swap your SIM card out and use a different carrier? Of course you have. Hey guys, how's it going? Here to get from H R Utilities, and today I'm going to be showing you how to unlock your iPhone 3GS running iOS 6.1.6. Alright, kicking things off, we're going to want to plug our iPhone into iTunes and we're going to want to back it up. This is because we're going to reset our iPhones to factory settings and we don't want to lose any data. So make sure your iTunes version is on 12, sorry, version 12. Um, if not, just go and do the Apple software update and you're going to want to restore your iPhone. Now I've got my IPSW on the desktop so I shift clicked it. Yeah shift clicked it and um, selected the IPSW I wanted. So we're just going to wait for the process to go by and let it restore itself. Alright, so now it's restored and we've just gone and set it up really quickly. And now we're going to go into Red Snow, go to Extras, Preferences and untick Move Applications During Jailbreak and select IPSW and select the 6.0 IPSW you downloaded. Hit yes and make sure you find out which boot room you have and click the appropriate button. If you need help, just drop a comment down below. Hit back and hit jailbreak. You're gonna wanna tick install iPad baseband, read that and click next and put your phone into DFU mode. So by you hold the power down for three seconds then hold the home button down and then you release the power button and this puts it into DFU mode. So we just wait for Red Snow to recognize our device and now it's patching it so it is bootable and shortly we shall see it is downloading the jailbreak data hopefully if all goes well. And now we can just see it's uploading the RAM disk, which patches the kernel, and now we're rebooting. So now it's downloading the jailbreak data, and it's booting in verbose mode. And now it's going to install Cydia, and it's going to flash our baseband. Make sure you're plugged into power for this, otherwise you run the risk of breaking your phone. It's very important. Do not disconnect from your computer. You need a power source. It's very important. Like, really important. Because, you know, I don't want to break your phone. And now we're just going to wait for it to boot up again. And this time, we're going to slide to unlock, if we can do it. And uh, we're going to turn it back off and put it back into DFU mode because we're going to want to actually boot it tethered. So currently it wasn't jailbroken, now we're going to make it jailbroken, if that makes sense. So once it's finished shutting down, I'm just going to hold the power button down for 3 seconds, hold the home button down as well for 10 seconds, and then we're going to release the power button while holding the home button. And then, once again, Red Snow said, Red Snow. Red Snow should detect our device and patch it. And it is now patching it, and we're just waiting for our phone to reboot and be in a tethered state. So once you can see the pineapple loader and see Cydia, just hit Cydia and it will start preparing the file system. So just wait for this. This is usually a lengthy process, but I obviously sped this up. No phone is this fast. And we're just going to set up up our account and wait for the packages to finish downloading. As you can see it takes a bit of time, obviously 2009 hardware, 2014 internet connection, it's not exactly going to be the fastest thing ever. So you're going to want to go to search and we just wait for the data to finish reloading because it's just downloaded all the information and it needs to reload the data, hence why it's reloading the data 
And as you can see, I've already put POSIX in, um, so you're going to want to type P0SIX, and that should bring up the 6.1.3 through 6.1.6 .6 untethered jailbreak. Now, once you download this, you will no longer need Red Snow to turn your device on and use it like normal. This is a fully untethered jailbreak, as you should probably know by now. If you don't, I know it's kind of late in the video, but stay away. So hit install and hit continue queuing because there's one more thing we need to install and that is Ultra Snow. Ultra Snow is the program that will allow us to unlock our baseband, hence why we downgraded, and use any SIM card worldwide. So hit Ultra Snow, install and confirm. And just wait for this to finish up. You see it takes a relatively small amount of time because there's not um, massive files really. Now you can see it's been installed because it's restarted the baseband I guess, uh, I don't know. Um, and it's now searching for the new carrier. Now obviously it's the same carrier but we shall soon switch out our SIM cards and see which one... I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Restart Swingboard, there you go. Wait for that to finish up. Seems to be frozen. There we go. Slide to unlock, and as you see, we're connected to O2. That is the original carrier for this phone. Now we're going to take the O2 SIM out and put the Vodafone SIM in. And as you can see, we are now on Vodafone's network, and now we're going to put the O2 SIM back in, and we are back on O2. So, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If it helped, or if you have any problems, Leave us a comment because I'm more than happy to help. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.